I, uh, I think one of the keys is, is term limits. And, and you know, I, I really think the moral courage that needs to come from any political leader is a person that is willing to take a stand against their party or take a stand when there's no political benefit to be had because you're standing up for an issue that is correct. I was very critical of, of Nancy Pelosi before um, Congress adjourned. Uh, President Bush called for an up or down vote on drilling 30 miles off the shore. She should have allowed that vote. I'm very critical of that. Even though Congress could do nothing about it, it's within the jurisdiction of the state's governors. And they should have had that debate so that people could know, people could understand that Congress would literally have to move mountains to allow the federal government to make a decision to change, to drill 30 miles off the coast. It's up to the governor. When she moved that in from that, uh, when Bush said let's move it from 300 miles to 30 miles in, it became a question of should the federal government trample on state government's rights? And I think she should have allowed that debate to go forward. Her concern was it would create false hope and frustration with the American people. Well, I think, you know, we're beyond hope and frustration. I think what we have to do is deal with the realities and people need to know. And if it turned out that the people wanted to, to drill 30 miles off and that's up to the governor, then that should be their call, not the federal government's.